So now in this video we're going to look at how the 4017 with the timing set by the 555 timer can give the pulses to a stepper motor module that will result in the module turning the stepper motor. When we first apply power, output zero here is high, the rest are low. So that's the red jumper there. And then uh, we give a high pulse to the uh, clock with the 555 timer. And then output one goes high, well zero goes uh, low. So that's the orange jumper. And then another pulse, we got output two, the yellow jumper there. And then another pulse, output three there. Then when we give it another pulse, output four goes high, but we're not really doing anything with that. So instead we're bringing it up to the reset pin. And uh, so ultimately that will give the reset pin a high output. It will reset the 555 timer, which puts the output uh, zero back to high. And uh, output four goes back to low, of course. So now we need to give those outputs as uh, signals to this uh, stepper motor module here. If you give a high output to, or input I should say now, to the uh, top pin and then work your way down, that slowly turns the stepper motor clockwise, which is what we want here. So we got output zero, red, output one is orange, output two is yellow, and output three is green right there. And uh, so it's gonna be kind of tricky putting this in while I'm looking at the camera. So I'm just gonna jump to the next scene. And now we need to power the relay module, which uh, powers the uh, stepper motor. We have uh, the male end of the jumper there and then female over here. So we're gonna use five volts. So we leave those two pins exposed. We have that jumper covering the uh, 12 volt spot. And we just take the uh, blue one here cause I put it to negative supply rail and put it to negative. And the uh, red jumper, which is to the positive supply rail, to the uh, plus uh, pin right there. And this stepper motor already has the uh, ribbon cables in there. We just have to insert it in the slot there. So I bought these in a kit where they came together. So you know they'll work together uh, perfectly. And now I uh, turn the power on. I also replaced the uh, timing resistors for the 555 timer in Abe stable mode, which I assume you already understand if you're looking at uh, stepper motors and uh, the uh, 4017 integrated circuit. Uh, but in any case, we're getting about a tenth of the speed now since the resistance is about uh, 10 times as much, so it's going slower. Each time you see a pass right here, there's a motor in here that uh, turned uh, clockwise completely. So there's uh, four coils. You can think of top, right, bottom, and uh, left, and it makes that turn, but there's gears in here, so that uh, I think it might be 160, I can't remember exactly, um, but you need uh, many times complete turns inside of here before you get a complete uh, turn right there. So this is with uh, 10 kilo ohm resistors for the timing. It's going very slow, but you could actually uh, still see it uh, moving, and so I'm going to set the timing with uh, 1000 ohm resistors and you should turn the power off when you do that but uh, we should be okay and you're going to see that it goes quite a bit faster and this is still pretty slow for this right here um, you can see it turning right there and let's see yeah it even turns when I, I try to stop it so at the slower speed it was actually stopping the uh, clocking for some reason but uh, yeah I put uh, quite a bit of pressure on there Seems like a somewhat strong motor. Maybe I'll test that out uh, later on. And before we go, I thought I'd show the uh, current needs that we have from the power supply right there. So a little less than 200 milliamps of current. So you gotta provide that, but we're doing one output at a time, one uh, coil energized at a time. We could do two, so you get more power from a complete uh, turn. And uh, we would need probably about twice the current that you see there. So just be aware of that. 